Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Hardcore Iron Man series. We're starting off this episode with a massive 84 farming. We're going to get quadruple Uroots. Uh, we don't have any like seeds like, or any decent sort of like uh, tree seeds at the moment. We're kind of doing oaks at the minute, I think it is, as well as curry tree seeds. I really don't know where to get them from. I'm doing my birdhouse runs. Uh, I might just start maybe doing some mole potentially on the side. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we are going to be getting some herbal levels today. I'm hoping that by the end of this episode, we'll have a load of stamina. So I actually have a quick announcement to make. Uh, this is an IRL thing. So I got myself a new pet recently. Unfortunately, my hamster passed away. Uh, he lived like two and a half years, which is quite long for a hamster, to be fair. The average lifespan is about two years. Uh, he had a very good life, so not to worry about that. But we did invest in a new pet. So I want you all to meet Violet the Chinchilla. Uh, yeah, she's very, very cute. Her pelt color is Violet. Uh, and my girlfriend thought it was a nice name, so we decided to call her Violet anyway. So, uh, the reason I'm saying this is if you hear any like rustling or background noise, it's probably because my chinchilla is only three months old at the moment. And she's very excitable and she's bouncing around her cage like an absolute mad woman. Uh, she's only got a little cage at the moment. It's big enough for her because she's still a baby. Uh, we've got loads of stuff in there for at the minute. Uh, but I will be getting a nice big cage at some point. So, uh, when that's all set up and stuff, I'll do like a quick tour and things, maybe post it in the Discord, stuff like that. But anyway, yeah, just wanted to show you guys that and explain why you might hear a bit more than usual background noise. Uh, but yeah, she's cute. AF. Alright, now it's time for me to go ahead and start collecting all the secondaries that we need in order to get 75 herbal ore. Alright, so for the Taramins, we're going to make Serum 207, which you need ashes for. Now, there are multiple ways you can collect ashes on an Iron Man. You can literally go and pick up ashes off the ground uh, from burnt out fires and stuff. Uh, even though you're an Iron Man, you can still pick those up. However, what I'm going to go and do is people keep telling me about this way I can use arrows on... Uh, in Nightmare Zone to turn them into ashes on the monsters that require ice gloves. So I think like Farid or something, for example, and a couple of others. I'm going to look at a quick guide real quick uh, just to find out what I need to do. But hopefully it doesn't cost too much. I mean, we've got 500k. I think we can go in in a practice run, actually. I'm not too sure. Leave it with me, uh, and I'll fill you in once I figure out how it's actually done. All right, I figured it out. You can, in fact, just go in in a practice mode. You do need ice gloves still, uh, but you can just use magic short bow, any arrows. You can also use stuff like knives darts all that good stuff and as you can see uh, every now and then the i don't think it's a hundred percent rate but the arrows do quickly turn into ashes and then we can literally just pick them up as soon as he steps off the pile we can just spam click the pile uh because we've got prayer gear on as well our prayer shouldn't actually drain down to zero whilst we're in here which is fantastic as i mentioned before about the jumping around in the background and stuff i'm pretty sure you can hear her now just bouncing around off the cage uh, she's having a good time though. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to do this to get myself 700 ashes. Like I said, we don't have that many uh, bronze knives. We've got loads of, sorry, bronze arrows. We've got loads of other stuff. We've also got loads of steel knives and stuff that we made for boosting Slayer, which I don't think I'm going to use all of them. So this is probably a fantastic way to get through. But yeah, as you can see, it's nice and quick. It doesn't take too much time. You just step under. He will move off eventually. There you go. And you just collect them all like this. And then once you're done, you just drink the potion. And just take you back outside Nightmare Zone, which should replenish my stats. It doesn't. All right, we've just run out of ammo, so we've used all of our broad arrows as well as all of the bronze arrows. Now I believe we got around about 800 or so. I'm just going to quickly run to the bank and check, but it took a little bit longer than I was expecting. Not going to lie. However, it was very AFK, so I've been playing on two accounts and working on my streaming playlist for music. So yeah, 804 there, which is plenty for the Terramins that we have. I need to go and collect 1,025 goat horns now. Uh, I don't know what the best way to collect desert goat horns, probably just to kill them near Nada, but I'm going to do some research first and double check, because that's a lot to collect. So, yeah, join you back in a moment, I suppose. Alright, so I think we're going to stand here with range, full range gear, uh, and just chill at the ones to the west of Nada. They're literally just west of the bank. They get dropped noted anyway, because of the desert diaries, so quite happy. I'm not sure I'm going to go for a full thousand of them. Uh, we've got our humidify, so we can just keep refilling our water skins. We'll see how long we can go. We'll get a couple of range levels here as well, maybe. We are 73 at the moment, of course. Uh, we've got our bone crusher as well. We've got like... 20, 200 and something thousand charges there you go nearly 300k charges not bad boy so this is how we're gonna be collecting the goat horns i'll probably do like 500 maybe and see how i feel uh, and then i might do energy pots for the rest of the harrowlanders we've got in the bank all right i've been through and collected 500 desert horns i'm not gonna lie that took a very very long time to do i'm not entirely sure it's probably worth me doing another 500 or whether it's worth me just doing 500 
um, chocolate bars turn them into chocolate dust. So I do believe, though, that there is a little guy here uh, who can turn all of these into crushed desert horns for me. I have no idea how much this is going to cost, but I believe it's just this guy. If I use them on him... Oh, it's only 25k. Okay, that's a, that's a lot cheaper than I was expecting. I'll probably do that with my chocolate bars as well. I'll buy the chocolate bars from the chest over in Lumbridge, uh, the culinary romancer chest, and then crush them over here. Because, yeah, there's no way I'm making... Uh, doing another, f sorry, 500 desert goat horns. They take way too long to kill. Unless I could... I don't know. Maybe, maybe we will. We'll see, but I doubt it. Next thing I'm going to do is maybe go and get some supplies for the Aventos. Now, I've been thinking about doing this via solar sep trees. Not only do you get your hands on... The fossils, which are really good as we can turn them in to XP lamps pretty much. Uh, but you also get Mortmire Fungus and Solar Set Mushroom Cap, which are used to make the crafting boost pies. Uh, where are they? The These ones here, the mushroom pies. Uh, and it's really good XP as well, to be fair. So I might give that a go. I don't know. We'll see. I'm actually not too sure what I'm going to be doing next. All right, this method might not be the best way to get mushrooms. However, the XP is pretty decent. Speaking of which, we are now 69 woodcutting on Hardcore Ryan, right, man. All right, so we're going to take a little break from doing solar sept trees. I'm going to go and get the full lumberjack outfit. Now, apparently, you can skip most of the events within temple trekking uh, and just do the lumberjack ones. So what I'm going to do is take uh, an axe and a knife with me, my basic combat gear. I shouldn't need anything to kill vampires with. We'll take some combat stuff and a couple of prayer pots just in case uh, we do get into any trouble. I don't think I need a defense pot, actually, if we are going to be using prayer. And a bit of food as well. And then, yeah, I'll join you back once we get a full lumberjack. I don't think it takes too long these days, but you never know. I'm having a little bit of an internal dilemma here. I'm not too sure whether I want to use the uh, the reward tokens on Pure Essence or Bowstrings, as they're both going to be very, very useful on the account. I mean, watermelon seeds also aren't too bad, but to be fair, we can get them off Master Farmers very easy. Uh, so I think I'm going to do a mix of Bowstrings and Pure Essence. I'll do one of each. So I'll do Bowstrings. Yeah, both things first, and then the next one I'll do pure essence until we get our hands on the lumberjack outfit. So yeah, I think that's a, I think that's worth it. We've got all the maple bowls in the in the bank that are unstrung, and they out for so much more once they're strung. So definitely not a waste. Uh, and we don't have access to the temple trek up here. So luckily though, we do have the uh, Mauritania legs three. So we can just teleport straight back to Bert Durot and do it again. All right, I'm pretty sure this is the first one we get. Yeah, the undead lumberjacks. Nice. Uh, so this is where we should be getting our pieces of lumberjack from. We just kill these, and I don't think it's 100% chance. I believe each time you come across it, this encounter, you will get one piece of lumberjack outfit. So we'll just kill them until we get it. We also get planks to repair the bridge. So I think I might have actually needed to get a hammer and saw to pass this, but I'm not too sure. Maybe not. Let's try and use our planks on it now, just to be safe. Do we need a hammer? Yeah, we need a hammer. Do these drop hammers? No. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. All right, that one was our first piece of lumberjack as well. There we go, piece number one. I'm pretty sure there's only one piece you can get per per encounter. So, yeah. Um, I'll keep killing them until they stop spawning, just in case you can get multiple. All right, false alarm. You have to equip your axe and then use the planks on here. And that does allow you to actually go through here. So, thank you very much to Soul for reminding me about this. Beast. All right, so this one surely has to drop me. The next piece of lumberjack. There's four pieces to the outfit, right? All right, I reckon it's going to be trousers next. That was just a coincidence, I swear. Yes, this is a final encounter to get the boots, and then we've got full lumberjack. Nice. All right, shouldn't take as long. Let's do it. Oh, and there they are as well. Literally the first kill. I am going to finish off this encounter, though. Uh, might as well get my free... A little bit of rune essence. Uh, not too bad, actually. We got, what, like 600? Probably like 700 rune essence by the time we're done. And just over 1,000 bowstrings. Nice, not bad. Right, back over to solar seps after this. Get myself, probably get level 70. 70 wood cut in there, and then we'll we'll leave. All right, we had some clue scrolls in a bank. And seeing as though we are doing some wood cutting, we have the chance of getting more clue scrolls. So I'm going to go ahead and open up these two. Uh, we've got an easy here. I'm not expecting anything too spectacular. Yep, uh, that's 20 easy clue scrolls, though. And a medium casket. Nothing great. I'm pretty sure that's a duplicate as well. Uh, let's have a quick look in the bank. Where is it? No, it's not. All right, fair enough. That's an item. You know, we can go with the uh, the top that we've got, and then this is literally just going on the floor. 
There we go, level 70 Wood Queen on the Hardcore Ryan Man, which I believe is a requirement for Song of the Elves. Uh, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little break from doing solo steps now. It was nice to do for a level or two. We got the lumberjack outfit now, so when we come back here, it'll be much easier. But it does take a very long time to get the Mortmire fungus, and the whole reason I'm here is to get the fungus so we can get our herb lore up. I want to get it to 75 this episode. That's the whole point of this episode. I want to get my hands on the uh, the stamina potion. So anyway, I'm gonna leave here after doing this last tree, and then go and collect them manually. I've not collected Mortmire Fungus since doing the Hard Diaries, and you get double fungus. This is going to be so quick. I completely forgot about this. This is actually amazing. Why didn't I just do this in the first place? To be fair, I don't regret getting 70 woodcutting, just to clarify. But this is going to be so fast. Look at it. We're almost done. Misclick. Not quite Herblow related. However, that is level 70 Hunter, which again, I'm pretty sure is a requirement for Song of the Elves. Nice, so we'll keep going, see how many levels we can get before we actually start having to train Hunter manually. This passive XP is so good. We've had 700k just from literally doing birdhouses. This is great. I actually can't believe we've managed to get this level from doing curry trees and oak trees, as well as farm runs and stuff to be fair, but 85 of farming. We can now access the highest tier of the farming guild. We can also grow tarsals and... We now have access to Celestrous trees, which we should have to boost anymore, which is very, very nice. Still don't have many seeds, you know, still still struggling for tree seeds and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to get back on the herb lore grind. We really want to get level 75 before the end of this episode. Might even have 76 by the time we're done with the amount of farm runs I've been doing. But yeah, 85 farming on the Hardcore Iron Man. Incredible achievement. Alright, I decided that I'm going to go ahead and start collecting some chocolate bars from the Colin Romancer chest. There is no way I'm going to kill in another 500 desert goats. They take way too long, and the chocolate. To be fair, stamina, not stamina pots, normal energy pots will come in handy, I'm sure, for doing runecrafting and some other grinds like that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy 500 now. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long, because we can buy 50 per world, which is pretty nice. As long as well, it's fully stocked, that is. Alright, let's do this. And we're done already. That literally took, like less than five minutes that's just that's so much better than collecting the desert goat horns and uh, now we can just go and pay the guy in nada to crush them all for us nice uh next i'm gonna go over and start collecting i'm gonna go and collect like a hundred unicorn horns just so we can make some super anti poisons uh, i have news we're gonna buy from the shop so we'll uh we'll work on the irrits next I didn't realise we already had like a hundred unicorn horns in the bank, so I've been over to Ardoin Zoo at the Fairy Ring, and I also went to the Karend Woodlands just to test out which one's better, and to be honest with you, they're both pretty terrible. I'm streaming right now, otherwise I would just go into the wilderness, as there are like ten of them, the black unicorns that spawn. Uh, I believe it may be around this area, actually. Yeah, I think it is around there. Uh, and obviously, you can use a looting bag there. It makes it a little bit easier. But doing it on stream, it's kind of monkey because it is in multi-combat. So I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to go and move on now. So we'll do Snapdragons next. Go and collect some red spider eggs. Uh, I think you do spideens over in the Tower of Life. So we'll go and get them real quick. All right, I think 316 red spider eggs will be plenty for now. Now, we've done the Cadentines already. We've already got the white berries. That's fine. We need to do the Lantadimes now, though, which means... Collecting dragon scales. So that's many, many, many trips to Tavoli. So yeah, let's get it done and make sure I do not forget to bring my anti dragon fire shield. Very important. All right, so I've just been informed by Soul that at 76, we can actually make magic potions. So lantadimes and a potato cactus. Now, we've been doing potato cactuses for a long time anyway. Uh, so I think it's going to be very smart to just boost up and turn these into magic pots instead. Uh, as you can see from uh, our anti-fire potion stack. We've already got 63 of them. We'll use these as well just so we've got some. So when we do come across dragon tasks, we shouldn't have any issues with anti-fire. Uh, so yeah, I think that's definitely a better way of doing it. it means I don't have to go and collect like what? How many How many was it? 400 dragon scales. Yeah, definitely not. So we'll put them in a bank for now. Uh, however, that does in fact mean that now I have to go and collect myself some wines of Zamorak. 201 wines of Zamorak. This is probably going to take a while. I've got to compete against all the bots. Um... Probably the least favourite thing to do, to be fair. But after that, I think we're done. I will double check, though. But I'm pretty confident we are done. Alright, 216 wines of Zamorak. That was horrible, not going to lie. Uh, I have now got to turn all these into potions. Uh, I calculated doing it by the person in Nada, where they do it automatically for you, you know, with the vials of water. It's 200 GP each. There is no way I can afford to do that right about now, so... Looks like I'm doing uh, the old-fashioned way of a manual. So yeah, it's going to take a little while, but we'll get it done. I'll start showing you once we've done all the pots. I'm going to make them one at a time. So we'll start off with the Marintils or the Taramins, probably. 
uh, then go from there. So I'll join you back with some levels. Probably just join you back at 85, to be fair. There's no point going through every single little level. See you soon. Also, this is our pots, actually, in case you're wondering. Uh, we've not decanted them yet. I'll decant them afterwards, but this is what we've got at the moment. And, of course, you'll see what we have by the time we're done. I actually went ahead and made all the unfinished potions first. Now it's time for the fun part of actually making them all. This is going to be interesting. 71 Herbal. Make super defense mix. Yeah, don't think I'm ever going to make them. 72 Herblo, a level worth recording as we can now make ranging potions without boosting. And I realized that we've been doing farm runs and stuff, of course, whilst we've been uh, cleaning our herbs and stuff. And we're going to have to go and collect a few more secondaries uh, just to make up for that. But I don't mind, it's not too bad. Although the, the wine of the Zamorak are terrible to collect. Level 75 Herblo on the Hardcore Ryan Man. Freaking insane already. We can now make, yeah, we can clean torstos off. That's pretty good. We've got some in the bank. Uh, how many we got? <laughs> 18. We've got some. Right. Um, not got a lot of pots left here. However, we do have to boost to turn these into the magic potions. And after we're done, we need to turn these into amylase and then boost again to make a load of stamina pots, which is the whole reason I'm doing this. I can't wait to get stamina's. However, we do only have. Three botanical pies. I'm not entirely sure that's going to be enough to do all the boosting that we need. It might be. I don't know. If not, though, we're going to have to go and try and get some more Globe and Overtops. I've got two there. So, potentially, we've got five pies in total. So, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But, yeah. For now, 75 Herblo. Very, very happy with that. I'm going to carry on with these. I'm not going to show you the potions just yet. We'll do the potions right at the end. Uh, I need to clean the bank out as well. I'm not going to do it this episode. Um, we might do it in the next next episode, maybe the one after, but I do need to start the bank out soon. So you should see it being a little bit tidier over the coming weeks. All right, that is all the potions that we can currently make done and dusted. I honestly seriously underestimated the power of the preserve prayer. I forgot how much that increases the boost and stuff. So yeah, we actually managed to smash through 400 pots of like, like no time at all. I do need to go over now and trade in all of these marks of grace for Amelie's and then finally get my hand on these stamina potions. I still don't want to show you the stack just yet. Uh, we've got a lot of potions though. It's going to be very nice to look at. So I'm going to quickly head over to Berthorpe, go and see Grace, get myself some Amelie's and then uh, I'll join you back in a moment once we're making our first ever Stamina potions. All right, Grace, how many amylase can we get with this? This is the first time I've ever buying these. Even on the main account, I've never bought them. Uh, do you need... Wait, can you only buy them in packs of 10? Okay, fair enough. Okay, you get 100 per pack. That's 800. That should be 200 stamina pots. Let's go ahead and make them. All right, this, this is the first time of me ever actually making stamina potions. So this is going to be interesting. I believe you, just, you can do all in one go, can't you? Oh my god, that is so nice. Look at it. There's a first stamina pot on the account. Right, I'm going to go through all these. I don't know if we're going to get a level or not. We are 75 still, so I join you back once we finish. I probably should have uh, turned preserved on before doing this, but yeah, let's go through. We'll use all these amylase. Should get 200 stamina's out of this, which is going to last for hopefully a while, and it's very AFK. I like this. All right, this is what the tab is currently looking like. I know it's a mess, and I do apologize. I'm going to go ahead and sort all of my tabs out. Like, even this tab is kind of getting a mess now. I sorted my bank out months ago, uh, pretty much like two months ago, when I first got all my gear and stuff, and I just need to go through and, like, tidy it all up. But this is the pots for now. Right, there we go. 200 stamina pots. Uh, we've also got normal super energies and, like, nearly 500 energy pots. We've also got super attack, strength, defense potions. We've got a load of ranging potions, prayer pots, magic pots. I'll probably put magic pots there, actually. Uh, and then we've got super restores, anti-fires, normal attack, strength, and defense potions. Probably never going to use them. Uh, we do use these from time to time. Uh, just when we're boosting through Slayer using Dragon Battle Axe. Uh, we've also got super anti-poisons, which are very nice to have. Normal anti-poisons. And then just useless pots like combat potions and serums and stuff. Not too sure what to do with these for now. We'll leave them in the bank. If we need bank space, we'll get rid of them. Uh, at the moment, though, we've still got like nearly 100 bank spaces free. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go through and sort everything out in here at some point in the very, very near future. But that's it for us now. We've got stamina pots. I'm very, very happy with that. Time to go back over to Barrows soon and finish off with the 500 KC. <laughs> Thank you.